All right, guys, here I am just with Dave Smith Tempest Drum Machine, which is uh, awesome. And what I'm going to do here, I'm just going to make a percussive beat, show you how to get straight into it and uh, make some music with this thing. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go to this uh, save load button right here and load up a, a project or a beat or something like that. Um, make sure that you have a kit across here. This is what I got at the moment. Alright, now what you want to do, uh, obviously uh, on the screen here, which uh, you may or not be able to see, shows you how many, what bar you're at, but if you press play, actually, let's erase those notes. It's already recorded there, so I don't have anything. So it'll show you how many bars I'm playing with, and here it goes up to four, so I'm playing with four bars. All right, so I can pretty much record something straight away. So let's um, change, just changing the quantizer P was on uh, eight triplets. So I'm gonna change it to 16th for now and see. I'm also gonna put this on for, just for my kick and snares. If I want something sort of solid and simple, then I'll put this as fixed level. So it comes across with maximum bang. But if not, I'll leave it off sometimes, so. And then I'll just go, same as always, do the process of finding new sounds, seeing what I want to add. And what I might do, just to, I might just loop loop this here just for um so we got a bit of a loop going there so i'm not boring you guys with doing a whole massive uh thing I got this roll function here which is allows me to to roll stuff. But there's a new function here at the moment with this roll key which if I press if I just turn this down a bit, if I press uh, the roll here on if I press uh, pad with the roll, if you see on the screen it says mode up and down. Now what I can do there, I can change that, and that's pretty much, I can change it to arpeggiator, so it means that I can do things with uh, holding uh, pads down all together and it'll do like an arp, but for the moment I'm just going to leave it like that. And. Now, now what I find is like there's nothing else on this kit that I actually want to use. But there's this sound which is sort of, for me, it's just a bit of wasted space. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go into pads here and click the sound and I can go up to sound type and actually change what's there. So I can pick a new sound for that. And I can find something that I want to actually use. Actually, that's pretty cool as a as a sound, but it's just one sound. So what I may want to do is I may want to go up to here to 16 tunings and basically put that sound over all the pads. And then I can actually play almost like a bass line. There you go. Now I can go back by going back to 16 sounds.
and I can do the same Now this sound I'm not going to use, so I can do the same. Go up to pads, change it for a sound that I actually want. Uh, there's a pad. There's something that I could use. But then again, it's again it's not in the in the right key. So I can either tune that down by using this pitch here. works now this pad here I may want to mess with the sound a little bit just to give it sounds a little bit clean or something so I can go to I can always press sounds here and that allows me to actually go into the sound and mess with with that sound really so once I'm in there whatever I do on this uh, on this whole um, machine here is messing with this sound so, so I can open it up I can that's better And there I have a beat. What I can also do, I can go to mute here. If I want to muck around with the beat, see what it sounds like with things taken off. And I got the ability to take things on and off. What I like is you can go here to, um, you can press B T and then everything on this now controls the whole beat. So I can do stuff like this. So I can bring the filter down. Now the problem is that sometimes you want to get back out of this. You want to go back to how the beat was. And the, the awesome thing that I love is right here, you have a revert which means that whatever you just did that there, you can go back. So for example, if you're playing live or you're or recording into your door, you can do like a low pass, but then you can come out of it with one button. And we go, so we go. One, two, three, four. And there you are. Press mute again, and you're back to the screen. But you And there you go. Thanks for watching.